Hi, today we're going to talk about native plants and the importance of native plants. I am specifically in Central Florida, but my talk carries all across the United States for uh, native plants, whatever region you live in. We're going to discuss, okay, what is a native plant, the importance of native plants, and then I'm going to talk about some statistics about conservation, what we've lost, the loss of biodiversity, and then I'm going to talk about maybe some of those things that are destroying native plant ecosystems. Besides the obvious of habitat destruction via development, which, you know, occurs and is going to continue to occur, but maybe we can kind of change land development codes to kind of be more proactive towards preservation of our native ecosystems. I'm going to talk about some other things in our talk today about invasive plants, how they're harming our native plant communities, and how you as a citizen and a homeowner can help in that arena. We're going to talk about ornamental non-native landscapes and how the maintenance of these ornamental landscapes are polluting our environment and destroying uh, native ecosystems and waterways. And then we're going to talk about native plant design techniques. A lot of native plant enthusiasts have a plant collection, and this talk today will hopefully try to coalesce thoughts about how we landscape with natives to kind of help fit in with our neighborhoods and make native plants a little bit more mainstream. And then I'm going to talk about, uh, I have a long list of plants that I recommend for your landscapes here in Florida. And I have pictures and if, you know, native plants are pretty low maintenance compared to ornamentals, but there are some maintenance involved and I have some listing along with my plant photos, a listing of how you can maintain those plants. And then we're going to uh, finally round up the, the talk about uh, talking about insects and the importance of insects to preserve our birds and wildlife. Insects are 90% of the foraging and food for birds and the more we kill insects with our traditional landscapes the more we are helping these birds to go extinct and so and so we'll wrap up with what you can do as a homeowner to help save insects and feed birds and butterflies and have uh, wildlife thrive in your yard and your community